mindfulness exercises can we apply soreness to? Touch, body. My body is feeling sore. I'm noting an emotional response to my body feeling sore. So let's take our breath. I am breathing in, I am breathing out. Bring that mindfulness to the forefront of our thoughts. I am aware that I am breathing in. I am aware that I am breathing out. breathing a sense of calm into my body. As I exhale, I'm bringing calm to my body. As we bring a sense of calm and awareness to our bodies, let's just scan our bodies from the crown of the head to tips of the toes and notice how we're feeling. Notice whatever sensations our bodies are experiencing. As we recognize what our bodies are feeling and the mind constructs that are surrounding those sensations, let's give ourselves permission. Let's make those sensations our friend. An example is if you're feeling soreness and maybe an emotion around that soreness, let's hold the hand as a friend would hold our hand give ourselves permission to release, to strengthen, to deepen, whatever it is that we need in these next 75 minutes. ourselves permission to rest when we need rest, to take our poses deeper if they need depth. And give ourselves permission to move through our asana practice in a mindful way. mindfully observant without judgment and without an expectation of outcome.
As you feel ready, allow the eyes to flutter open. And as we exhale, let's tuck the chin down toward the chest. As we inhale, lift the head back to neutral. Exhale, just allow that gentle movement of the neck, noting where, if any, tension or lack of tension is present. And then as we exhale, drop an ear to shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite ear. Just moving with breath. Inhaling, center. And this time as we exhale, turn to gaze over one shoulder. Inhale through center, exhale, turn to the other shoulder. Noting that breath, I am inhaling and I am rotating through my neck. Good, inhale, return to center. This time as we exhale, holding onto the knees, rounding the back, tucking chin, tucking tail. Inhale, lift head, lift heart to sky. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift. Returning to neutral, let's plant the left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. And then exhale, release. Inhale, opposite side. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Good, inhale, coming back to center. This time as we exhale, we'll take a twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist to other side. Inhale, center. Just feel your body rotating with breath. you're ready inhale returning to center crossing the leg that's in front as we round the back we'll hold this time taking the hands behind the head just letting the arms kind of dangle no tension no pressure in the arms but just letting the weight of the arms maybe lengthen the chin tuck lengthen the rounding inhale lift up Take the fingertips back behind, lift through the chest as if you were using the fingertips to press away from for the heart to lift. Keep breathing. And then lift to neutral, planting that left hand out, taking the right arm over to the side. We'll pause here. Let the heart shine forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. The arm continue to breathe as you reach through the other side, locking that hip down into the earth. And inhale back to neutral. We'll take that exhale twist. Pause here and hold. Let the hand, the right hand on the left knee, lengthen skyward as opposed to twisting deeper. And slowly unwind. Mm -hmm. 
Again, lifting skyward as you inhale. Good, when you're ready, come back to center. We'll flip around to all fours, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And starting to move into a cat cow, exhaling cat, inhaling cow. And as you move between the two, just finding, noting where in the spine, where in the back and shoulders, hips, you might be feeling tension or tightness. When you're ready, return to neutral. Slide the right knee back just a little. Inhale, left arm sweeps to sky. As we exhale, roll onto the left shoulder. Inhale, lifting back up to sky. So as you inhale, you're open to the kitchen. As you exhale, you'll roll to the door. One more time. Pausing here on that left shoulder. And then return to all fours. Shift left knee back. Inhale, right arm to sky. Exhale, rolling down onto that shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll down. One more time, inhale, lift up. And this third time, stay on right shoulder. Good, when you're ready, return to all fours. We'll take our right leg back behind us and just tuck that right toe under, rocking forward and back. Starting to add some warmth into that right calf. You can always make fists if your wrists are starting to find fatigue. And then find neutral. We'll take our right leg, press the right heel back as the hips stay square. On the exhale, our right knee comes toward our right elbow and they can even like make a little kiss. Inhale, take it across and open. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, across and open. One more time. Third time, we'll take that right toe on to the mat or to the ground outside, yep. And just reach the right shoulder to the top right corner of your mat to gain length through the right side body. Good. Come back to center. Tuck left toe under and just rock forward and back. As you rock back and forth, feel. Feel release. And then come to neutral. Press the right heel back, hamstring up, square shoulders and hips. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, open and across. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, open. One more time. Take that toe down, left shoulder to the left corner of the mat, turn the gaze to the back toes. And then when you're ready, come back, bring the knees as wide as the outer edges of the mat, sink your hips back and down, just rock the body side to side, warming the inner thighs.
returning to center. Walk your fingertips forward, let the heart sink down as you lift the head to gaze to the front edge of your mat. So feel the opening through the thoracic, not just through the neck, not just through the cervical vertebrae. Breathe here. When you're ready, bring those knees underneath your hips. Tuck your toes up and back to find our down dog. First down dog of class, so gentle down dog. He's a kind of a lazy dog this morning. Just pedal the heels, taking your time. And then lift to your tiptoes, bend your knees, really take the tail to the back wall. Feel opening through the armpits, from the pinkies to the waist. And then press the hamstrings back as the heels fall. Hands are shoulder width, feet are hip width apart. Shake your head, yes, shake your head, no. Gaze up to the hands and we'll take a walk forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. Let the head dangle down. Let the face be soft. Soften the knees, tuck the tail, slowly roll up, taking about three breaths as those arms just ragdoll down. At the top, roll those shoulders up, back, and down, away from ears, finding Tadasana. As we inhale, we'll lift the arms to sky, lift the heart, so mini back bend, if you will. So we're taking ourselves into a slight back bend. It's not deep. It's more of a heart lift than anything else. Inhale, come back to neutral. As we exhale, we'll take our right arm forward, left arm back to a gentle twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reaching to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. And then come back to center. And imagine there's a mac nut tree, macadamia nuts, and you want some for your salad. And you're just reaching, feeling gentle rotation, gentle stretch. Good, release the hands down, shake them out, returning to Tadasana, making sure you're at the front of your mat. Inhale, reaching arms up to sky. Exhale, tip it hip, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift to monkey. And then as we exhale, we'll take our left leg back, releasing down to the left knee. Inhale, walk the hands up that left, the right thigh, and just pause here, lifting through the heart. Let the left hip open, breathing into the space. And then framing right foot back to an extended child's pose. Hands are shoulder width apart. Fingers spread nice and wide. Inhale up to kneeling, plank straight line from shoulder to knee. Elbows hug, ribs lowering through chaturanga. And then inhale, sweeping forward to our baby cobra. Shoulder blades draw together. Exhale back into our extended child's pose. Feeling length from pinky to waist. And 
gaze up to hands, left foot comes all the way up to the hands. Exhale, drop the hips and then walk the hands up that left thigh. We'll pause here, just lifting through the heart and opening from the front of the right hip. You can close the eyes for a moment and just check in with the sensations of the body. Framing left foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lifting up to mountain. And as we exhale, we'll sink back to a baby chair. So just a mini Utkatasana. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift to monkey. Exhale, release. Right leg back, lowering down to right knee. So as the body starts to fatigue, keep this series in mind and come back to this at any time, walking the hands up to that left thigh and just pausing here. Framing left foot, stepping back to our extended child's pose. Inhale up to kneeling plank, straight line from shoulder to knee. Exhale, elbows, hug, ribs, baby chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back into that child's pose. And welcome to always rest the arms fully next to the body in full child's pose. Extending the arms out in front of you once again. Let's take that right foot forward all the way up to the hands. Sinking the hips down, walking hands up right thigh. Pausing here. Whenever we take the arms overhead, we increase our heart rate. So if you're feeling like you need to bring the heart rate down, you just keep the hands below the heart. Stepping forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, bring hands down through heart center. Let's take a quick cleansing breath. Inhale, reaching arms up to sky. As we exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach over to one side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, lifting back to neutral. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, half lift, monkey. And then as we exhale, let's take left leg back. Lowering down to the left knee. Inhale, walking the hands up, sweeping the arms to the sky, and then bringing hands to heart center, planting the left elbow to the outside of the knee to turn and gaze over the shoulder. Inhale, back to center, framing right foot. Now, yogi's choice, let's stay on our knees, sit back to our knees. Extended child's pose. Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, elbows, hug, ribs, baby, chaturanga. Inhale, sweep forward, baby. Exhale, back. Yogi's choice to leave the arms extended or rest them next to the body. Inhale, slowly gaze up to the hands. We'll take our left foot all the way up to the hands. Dropping the hips, inhale, sweep arms to sky, hands to heart center, this time right elbow to outside of left knee. Inhale, back to center, frame left foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink back to chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, monkey. Exhale, right leg back. Lower down to that right knee. Inhale, fingertips lift to sky. 
hands to heart center, right elbow outside of left knee. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, hands come down, framing left foot back to extended child's pose. Good, inhale, rise up, kneeling plank. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhaling back. So in this child's pose, leave hands extended or rest the next to body. Extend the arms out in front of you once again. Inhale, gaze up and take the right leg to the hands, dropping through the hips. Inhale, fingertips to sky, hands come to heart center on Jolly Mudra as we take a twist, left elbow to right knee. Good, inhale back to center frame, left foot, right foot. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, coming up to mountain and exhale, bring those hands down through heart center. Let's take that quick cleansing breath. Inhale, reach arms up to sky. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, lift. And exhale, switch sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach over to one side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, monkey. As we exhale, we'll step our left leg back. Big step with that left foot. Lower down to left knee. Walking our hands up the right thigh. Let's take our left arm to the sky. Right shoulder stays relaxed and we'll reach over to the right side of the mat. Reaching and lengthening from our pinky all the way down the side body. Inhale, lifting back up, framing right foot. We'll step back to an extended child's pose. Inhale, rise up, kneeling plank. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back to extended or full child's pose. Malasana or bhaktasana, your choice. Gazing up to the hands, we'll take our left foot all the way up to hands. Sink the hips down, walk hands up left thigh, right arm to sky, and fingertips over to the left side of the mat as that left shoulder stays relaxed. When you're ready, frame left foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink back into our Utkatasana chair. Inhale, lifting back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right leg back. Big step. Lower down to right knee. Inhale. Let's walk the hands up. Right arm to thigh. Sorry, right arm to sky. Left arm comes to sky as well. Feel yourself lifting out of both side bodies equal to the amount as we reached over to one side. Framing left foot back to an extended child's pose. Inhale, rise up, kneeling plank. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale. Back to that child's pose, yogi's choice, balasana or bhaktasana. (sighs) 
Gaze up to the hands, right foot comes all the way up to the hands, sinking those hips down. Inhale, one arm, second arm comes to meet it. Feel the length on both side bodies. Anchor from hip down to lengthen skyward. Framing right foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring those hands down. Let's heart center on Jali Mudra. Take that cleansing breath. Checking in with body. When you're ready, inhale, sweep both arms up to sky. Exhale, tip it hip, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, monkey. Exhale, left leg back. So we're gonna stay on the knee for this last round. Inhale, right hand to thigh, left arm to sky, and then reach over to the side wall. Inhale, lift back up. Now left elbow to outside of right knee, taking that twist. Inhale, back to center, framing right foot. Extended child's pose. Inhale, kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back into your child's pose. Yogi's choice. Raising up to hands, left foot comes all the way up to the hands. Sinking the hips down, left hand to thigh, right arm to sky. Reaching over to the side wall or to the kitchen. Inhale, lifting back up, elbow to outside of knee, twist. Good, come back to center, framing left foot. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, exhale, sink back into chair, Utkatasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift to monkey. Exhale, right leg back. Lower down to that right knee. Inhale, both arms to sky. And then as we exhale, hands come to heart center, taking that twist. Inhale, both arms to sky. Exhale, frame left foot, step back to child's pose. Inhale, rise up, kneeling plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back into your child's pose. Raising up to hands, right front comes all the way up to the hands. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, palms together. Take that left elbow to outside for your twist. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, release down. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come down. Let's take a cleansing breath here. Releasing the palms down. Just checking in with the body, noting if you're feeling energized, fatigued. Noting the breath. Allow the eyes to open. We're gonna shift the weight over to our left leg. Take the right toe out to the side. Arms reach out into a star. So we've done this a couple of times already. If we feel like it, lift the toe. And then as we exhale, take a twist. Inhale, open up. Just three times.
Good. Plant that toe and then reach the arms toward the side that your toe is planted. Now see if you can lift and reach. Did you feel that difference? Yeah. Good. Inhale, come back up. Hands to heart center. Weight is now in right foot. Left toe out. Take your arms to your star hand. If you feel ready, right, left toe up. Exhale, take that twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. One more time. Good, planting that left toe on the ground, reaching toward the left toe, feeling length through both side bodies. Good, inhale, come back up to center. Plant our feet, hands together, Hanjali Mudra. Cleansing breath. Inhale, reach arms to sky. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale to sky, switch sides. This time leaning over toward the right first. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, come back to center. Soften the knees, tip at hip, just halfway down. And then bring the tops of the hands to the thighs or the palms to the tops of the thighs. Exhale, tuck tail, round back, chin to chest. Inhale, lift tail, open chest. So back and forth, standing cat cow, feeling the extension of the spine, feeling the rounding of the spine. Noting the warmth that our spine's already experiencing. Noting the warmth you may be experiencing. <laughs> it's kind of warm today. Exhale, around yourself all the way up. Take those shoulders up, back, and down, palms forward. Returning to awareness of body, awareness of sensation, awareness of breath, awareness of thoughts, emotions, and mind constructs. Finding awareness without movement. You ready? Allow the eyes to flutter open. Inhale, sweep arms to sky. Exhale, tip at hip, Uttanasana. Inhale, half with monkey. Exhale, right leg back. So big step with that right leg. We're going to plant the right hand on the mat or block. Inhale, sweep that left arm to sky, feeling the rotation of the spine as that knee hugs in toward the rib. Exhale, release, hand down. Inhale, right arm to sky. So we're going to rotate back and forth. Exhale, release. Inhale, rotate. Ready, framing that right left foot left foot we'll step our left foot back to meet our right finding our down dog inhale to plank straight line from shoulder to heel exhale knees or toes chaturanga inhale baby cobra or up dog exhale back into down dog. So option to always rest here in child's pose. If your body's requesting a child's pose, you can do a child's pose with toes tucked for a modified puppy. Gazing up to hands, we'll take the right foot all the way up to the hands. This time we'll plant the left hand on the block, hang out here as we rotate open, to the, ch open the chest Take the belly button past the thigh. 
And let's all take, make a self-adjustment. Take our bellies and actually feel the rotation. You can go from the ribs open. Take the right, the hand to the hips. Let the hips sink down. And then take the fingertips back to sky. And you can smile to any other direction, my dear. When you're ready, frame that right foot. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, exhale, sink back to chair, Utkatasana. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, monkey. Exhale, left leg back. So we'll have the block on the inside of the left, the right foot. Plant the left hand on it. Right arm to sky as we inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm to sky. Moving with our breath, exhale, release. ready we'll frame that right foot step back to down dog inhale finding plank exhale chaturanga inhale baby cobra or up dog exhale back into your down dog always an option for child's pose here When you're ready, gaze up to the hands. We'll take that left foot all the way to the hands, planting the right palm down. Take the left hand to your ribs. Let's do that self-adjustment first as we rotate open. Hug the inner thigh toward belly button, left hand to hip. Release the hips down as you keep that right hamstring pressing to sky, and then fingertips lift. Framing left foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Let's take that cleansing breath. Checking in with body once again, noting. Noting what you're experiencing, pulling up the pants if you need to. Gaze opens, gaze is forward, inhale, arms to sky. This time, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reaching over. Inhale, lift. Reaching to the other side. Come back to center. Tip it, hip, forward fold. Inhale, half lift to monkey. And then exhale, release down. We'll take that right leg back. Big, big step with the right leg. We're gonna swivel that right heel down. Come up to a warrior two. Pause here in our warrior two. Zip in, hug everything toward midline as you lift tall. Then we'll turn our left palms to sky, right hand to hip. Rainbow those fingertips toward the back edge of your mat. Let your right hand on your hip act as an anchor to reach the left arm away from. Reverse warrior. And then take that left elbow, bend the left elbow, pressing it down to the thigh. Two options, either scissor the arm or rainbow the arm. Everybody's body is different, so maybe even play with it a few times and feel what gives you better length through side body. Let the hips sink down, shoulders relax. Framing left foot, step back to down dog. 
Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale back either into child's pose, puppy pose, or down dog. When you're ready, gaze up to the hands. We're going to take the right foot up to the hands. Let the hips sink down as the fingertips plant on the mat for the heart to drop forward. So if you need to, feel free to come down to the knee for this. Otherwise, if you feel ready, let the arms lift to the sky. Feel tall through both side bodies. Framing right foot, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sit back, Utkatasana, chair. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, monkey. Exhale, left foot back. Swivel that left heel down. Open up to warrior two. Shoulders draw together, fingertips extend. And then we'll turn that right palm up, left hand to hip, rainbow back toward the back of your mat, breathing into that right side rib. Use the hand on the hip to help lift out of the left side rib as well. And then return, bending that right elbow, forearm to thigh, either scissor or rainbow. Try again, maybe a few times to find your extended side angle. You can add a smile to your face. Framing right foot, stepping back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So as we move through these last, we always really remember our options. Remember that our body is really intelligent. It knows what we need. Letting go of those sensual pleasures of laziness, but also recognizing a drive that shouldn't be there. Allowing our body's intelligence to override the mind construct. Gazing up to hands, let's take our left foot up to hands. Sink hips down, fingertips on mat to let the heart lift, hips release, and then rising up, Anjayasana. Releasing hands down, framing left foot. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lifting up to mountain. Exhale, bring those hands down through heart center. Take a quick cleansing breath. Release the palms. Close the eyes. Allow the eyes to flutter open. So we're gonna do some balance poses. So you have an option of staying on your mat or moving to a wall that might help support you. We'll start by standing on our right leg. We're gonna lift our left toe and you can use the block um, to rest your toe on if your body's requesting that. So lift to our tippy toe, to like a ballerina tippy toe. 
Heart is lengthened forward, shin tucks slightly, and start to lift up the left knee. We'll take our right hand to the outside of that left knee and start to turn and gaze over the shoulder. Fingertips of the left arm reach back. Now for some of us, we might stay here. Maybe the toe stays on the ground. Or if you're feeling ready, yogi toe lock for left leg extending outward. Now if you notice the spine rounding as you find a yogi toe lock, your body's saying, not quite ready for it today. And give yourself permission to come back to just hanging on to the knee. Good, releasing down. Taking that left, uh, right foot still and then hinging the leg open. Foot to ankle, calf or th thigh. And we'll all find Vrikchasana tree pose. Imagine you're a majestic palm. They're everywhere here. Now the trick is to find length through side body as a palm tree. Hands can stay in heart center. Releasing feet down, hands to heart center. Take a quick cleansing breath. Notice what might be happening in the mind space. Notice any judgments or fears that may come up. Balance poses shake out some stuff in the body, as do twisting. When you're ready, open the eyes and start to shift the weight over to the left foot. Lift up to the right ballerina tippy toe. Lift the heart. No holding breath, our breath stays even and steady. And if you're feeling ready, start to lift that knee. Maybe rest the toe on the block. We'll take the left hand to the outside of the knee. Right arm back. So same options, maybe we keep the toe on the ground, on the mat, or here, or if you're feeling excited about it, a gecko's chasing a fly. He got it. Another gecko's coming, oh, ooh, there's a gecko fight. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, distractions okay. <laughs> One more breath. Good, coming back to center. Foot to inner thigh, to calf, just not on that knee joint. And finding that majestic palm. And when you're ready, release. Bring both hands down to heart center. Let's take a quick cleansing breath. Release the palms down. So we moved our spine in all the ways our spine can move. We've taken forward flexion and extension. We've rotated from side to side and we've leaned from side to side. So imagine the spine, just feel it here in this neutral place, starting at the tailbone with the vertebrae stacked one on top of the other. In this space where gravity seems to be affecting us upright in the least, two curves, lordotic and thoracic curve. But as we stand here, we lengthen the spine, we grow space between each of the vertebrae. Our spine itself feels nourished. All of the muscles along the spine feel warm and supple. The spinal cord itself has zero pressure.
And just notice perhaps a lack of anything in the spine. Notice a positive presence and notice if there's twinges. When you're ready, allow the eyes to flutter open. Inhale, reach the arms to sky. Exhale, take a tip at hip, forward fold. Inhale, half lift to monkey. And exhale, step back to all fours, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And we're gonna take some luxurious cat cows. They can follow breath, they can be wiggly. They can be sideways, round ways. Let your body just guide these cat cows. Playful and creative. Taking about two more breaths here. Finding a neutral spine. And see if we can, from this prone position, find our spine as supported as we did upright. Shift the legs to one side and bring ourselves into seated. Finding a staff pose, Dandasana. Inhale, arms to sky. One more time, exhale. Let's take our right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, lift. Let's plant the left hand down to reach away from the other side. Inhale back up to center, walking the fingertips as far forward as we feel comfortable, and then rounding, tucking chin. A relaxed Paschimottanasana. Make sure you can still get a full breath. And then inhale, draw those hands up the legs as you come upright. Bend the knees, plant them about uh, hip width apart, rolling ourselves back. Allow the hands to rest next to the hips, and as we inhale, start to peel up one vertebrae at a time, moving into a bridge. Walking the arms underneath, lifting the heart. Now this bridge pose can be supportive if you have a block. Feel free to place the block under the hips. You can always use your hands under your hips as well if that feels comfortable for you. If you have a block and you prefer to keep the inner thighs engaged, feel free to squeeze the block between the thighs. And imagine a strap around the hips and a strap around the upper thoracic back. The hips are being drawn skyward as the back is being drawn toward your chin. And then releasing anything that might be propping you up, slowly lowering yourself down, drawing knees into chest, gently rocking side to side, shoulder to hip, shoulder to hip. Coming back to center, extend those legs to sky, palms down. 
So we have a couple of options for our final modified inversion. This is a great one. If you want to slide your mat up against a wall and stay here in legs up the wall. By the way, this is a great one to do at the airport. I think my daughter can attest I've done this in the airport before. Um, you can stay here. If you're feeling like it, you can return to your bridge. If you're finding bridge successful, you can do a shoulder supported candlestick pose where you extend the legs up from a bridge or if it's feeling ready for you maybe even plow pose halasana so your inversion your time your space if you're feeling like a headstand feels awesome to you Hop up into your headstand. Maybe three more breaths in whatever version you're choosing. If you're in legs up the wall, feel free to stay in legs up the wall for Shavasana. It's a great place to be. And then when you're ready, slowly start making your way down to lying on your backs with knees bent. Drawing the right knee in toward the chest. Extending the left leg out. A few ankle circles with the right foot. Right arm out to the side. We'll take that right leg across the body into a twist. So we've done lots of gentle twisting. Today's twist can be as deep as you feel comfortable with. We can do any of those self adjustments we've done a few times. Slowly unwinding, switching sides, left knee and right leg extends out, feeling the left ankle draw circles. Left arm out to the side, taking that twist. When you're ready, slowly unwind, draw those knees to the armpits, soles of feet to sky for a happy baby. And you can rock side to side if that feels good. You can stay static and be more of a dead bug. Finding center. Taking a scan from the crown of the head down to the tips of the toes. Listen to your body and ask your body 
Do you desire any further poses today? If your body says no, I'm ready for Shavasana. Start setting up. If your body says yes, take those poses. Taking the time to begin setting up for Shavasana. Feeling the body relaxing into the space, melting into your yoga mat. of body awareness of feeling awareness of the mind and awareness of the mind construct how the spine is feeling, noticing that you have a spine, noticing our thoughts about our spine and noticing the stories we tell ourselves about our spine.
our bodies lie in Shavasana, our spine is the most supported it can be. Natural curves are present. And gravity is neither pulling on it up or down. The musculature of the back supports our body from below. And so with the muscles of the spine and back relaxed, notice and witness without judgment. Self permission to stay in this restful, peaceful space. To stay in a place of openness and willingness to be aware. To let go of some of our filters and stay in a place of awareness. The translation of our mindfulness, meditation, and yogic practices to the rest of our lives doesn't happen in a place where we're calm and serene. It happens in the place of overwhelm and confusion. It happens in the spaces of anger and sadness. So the first step in that journey is giving ourselves permission to translate the awareness translate that open mind and growth mindset into the times where things are difficult, into our difficult relationships. yoga practice today was about moving our spine in all the ways and all the directions that the spine is supposed to move. And our mindfulness practice is about guiding the mind in a way that's healthy and safe, guiding our responses in all the ways that they're supposed to go, accepting all of our emotions, all of our thoughts, and recognizing the mind construct for what it is instead of turning away from. We have a spine and we must use it to live. We have a mind and we must use it to live. Holding these thoughts in our heart and mind space on your next inhalation, allow vitality to course throughout your body.
slowly wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your wrists and ankles. Bending your knees and bending your elbows. 